This is Rails in Focus, a series of Rails tips and best practices by the Rails community for the Rails community. I'm your first host, and there will be more videos, more tips, and more hosts, so be sure to subscribe to this channel to get notified of when new episodes drop. Hello Rails programmers, today I want to show you something not specifically related to Rails itself, but around the tooling that we use to program in Ruby. I personally use VS Code, and today I want to show you how fantastic the Ruby LSP is for working inside of Rails. The Ruby LSP since version, I think 0.3 already comes with the Rails add-on. Some people confuse this and call it the Rails LSP, but technically it is the Ruby LSP and just a Rails add-on that comes with the Ruby LSP. So let's jump into VS Code and see how this works. So inside of my VS Code, I'm going to try to find Ruby LSP. And here you can see that probably I've already installed it. It's from Shopify. I don't have to really worry about the Rails add-on because this Ruby LSP once installed already comes with the Rails add-on. So what can we do with this Ruby LSP? A few things we can do is that, for instance, if we have a module, we can try to see how the modules schema looks like. So here I'm going to jump into the pupils controller and you can see that I have a module here. If I hover over, you can see that I see how the schema looks like. So you can see I have a name that's a string and of course the ID, that's a primary key. And I have the timestamps that uh, created at and then updated at. If I try to click the pupil RB, the LSP is smart enough to send me to the pupil model, which looks like this. Another thing we can do from here is inside of the pupil uh, model, we can try to click on some associations. And then for instance, this, we can click on it and then it, will sh it should point us to the school model. The quickest way to do this that I found is by holding the command key and then just pressing school. This should jump us straight to the school module. We can go back to the pupils model by doing the same thing, command, click pupils, and then it sends it back. It sends us back. So I'll go back to the pupils model and then I'll show you something else. So for instance, let's say you have a callback that you say after create, it should register. Uh, this is the register method here. Usually in your Rails applications, you'd have a long list of methods that you want to jump through. What you can do with this is you can press the F12 key or you can do what we did previously by clicking command and then it should jump us to the method where this is defined. In this case, we jumped back to def register, which is the definition of this callback. Another cool thing I wanted to show you is jumping to routes inside of your application. So let's say you have a view folder and you have some routes set inside a folder but you do not know where these routes are defined. Let's jump into our index file here inside of the pupils folder. Here you can see I have a new underscore pupil underscore path. Now, where is this defined? I have no idea. With the LSP, what you can do is press command and then click, and it should be able to jump us right into the routes file where the resources uh, where the pupils routes are defined. So here you can see that it already selects which line the route is defined on. Another cool thing, which is the last bit that I want to show you is about running tests. Let's say you are inside VS Code, which is what I'm using, and you want to quickly see which tests are passing or failing. You can go into your test folder. Let's jump quickly to the controllers folder and go to say the pupils controller. Here you can see that the code lens gives you three options. You have run, run in terminal, and debug. These are all ways that you can run the test in question, and then you can debug also with Ruby debug if you have this setup. So in our case, we are going to try to run all of the tests inside our pupils controller. All you need to do is click on the code lens, run, and then on the left pane, you should see something going on. Our tests have been run and everything thankfully is passing. I use VS Code, but Ruby LSP is available for a lot of editors. Check the Ruby LSP documentation to find out more. Are you using the Ruby LSP?
Tell us what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't... If we had to do bloopers version, just the bloopers alone will be like five hours. <laughs> it's, it's so embarrassing. <laughs>